ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video at the time of recording this, we are about 10 days away. Can I get some Sparky Duo hype in the comments? Go ahead and spam Sparky Duo hype. Let's get it. Let's get it. We got some fighters guide for you guys. Y'all been watching gameplay, but have you been watching the gameplay for real? Have you been, do you know what's happening when you see blast impacts? Do you know the differences between the power, strength, and speed characters? I, I'm going to show you. It's okay. You don't have to go nowhere else. I'm going to give you the in-depth fighter guide here. Please leave a like in the video. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get on some more Sparking Zero content. They dropped this a couple of days ago. I'm pretty sure some of you probably have already seen this, but we're going to go ahead and get on to it. We have the types of characters. You can enjoy different play styles in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero depending on the strength and the fighting habits of characters in the original series. Their style is affected by statistics, size, and character forms. Let's have a look into the different categories of different characters. All right, we have the strength characters, and Jiren is the face of this one, obviously. These characters base most of their gameplay around their heavy strike and powerful blast. Although they might be slower, their raw power will compensate as they will deal high damage to their opponent. So it sounds like these characters are gonna be brute strength. They're not gonna be characters you're kinda you might be able to move with them when it comes to speed, but they're more so catering to that strength, and they're probably going to be more so like if you're like a melee based character, if you're like an in your face character, if you're like an upfront like I just want to I just want to smash your face it. Yeah, you're you're probably going to be wanting doing the strength characters or type of characters. Let's go ahead and move on to what they were saying. Uh, the characters so strength oriented that they some may not even stagger from key blast. Oh, and smash attacks. So they're like immune to certain attacks. It seems like based on their strength, based on their statistics like i said two types of specialization melee and blast so there's like you can be strength in melee or strength in blast focus this first one will enhance the damage dealt with rush combos and close combat as i was emphasizing earlier close close combat material with the strength characters while the second implies the character can rely on blast attack and key blast to inflict damage so it sounds like you, you can be fairly balanced on i said balanced what the hell it sounds like you'd be fairly balanced on either side. So that's pretty cool. So if you're interested in strength characters, let me know what strength character you think it's going to be or you think you're going to be picking it down below. Next up is speed. On the opposite end, some characters base their attack strategy on their swiftness, which they use for long lasting assaults, which are hard to interrupt. Even in some or even if some of their strikes are lighter, your opponent will have trouble trying to catch you as you move quickly all over the map and deliver combos with stunning speed. Escaping from rush combos of characters that rely on speed will be tougher for opponents compared to characters not fitting in this category. So speed and strength. I think they just gave you the counter. <laughs> so we're, so in counter to this to the strength abilities to actually control their space and basically if you come into their space they kind of cooking you. But speed can counter that by getting out of that space and and kind of diverting you in a way and just moving in a way that strength characters may not be able to keep up with. Which getting out of these rush combos, it seems like is gonna be hard. Now, Kakunza is the showcase or face of this one they show on the Bandai Nam Namco uh, page. And I wonder how good she's gonna be. I wonder how some of these filler characters are gonna be. I don't know, guys. We, we keep harping on the characters. Oh, we don't care about these characters. They might be, it might be OP. We'll, we'll see. But if you think you're gonna be a speed character, let me know down in the comments. Key Blast characters. My man Vegeta is the front runner for this one. There are some characters who will master Key Blast, excelling in fighting style that they can maintain control while keeping the opponent at distance. They have the ability to fire multiple consecutive energy blasts while consuming the min minimal energy. Vegeta is a good example. C come on, you already, already know this who is known for his powerful and rapid key blast attacks. You have the finish buster, you have the final flash. Other characters include Goku, who can unleash the iconic Kamehameha and Frieza, and Frieza, who possesses the precise death beam. I hope, do you guys think that there's gonna be something like Xenoverse where they did the Emperor's death beam? Let me know down in the comments if you think Emperor's death beam is making it into Frieza. I haven't seen it in the gameplay, so I mean, if you've seen it, uh, maybe spo spoiler warning before you say it. <laughs> Anyway, that was Key Blast. Let me know if you're uh, going to be doing that. Next, we have Giants. Given their impressive size, these characters are much slower than others, but they strike more powerful blows that will stagger and send your opponent to fly away. On top of that, they are numb to throw and summon blast attacks. So, 
I think they are, yeah, so I've, we see this in the clip right here. He, they're numb to throw attacks, and there's, there, there are some blast attacks they are immune to as well. We're going to be going deep into that when Spark and Zero drops. You can take advantage of their overwhelming pr presence on the map to hit your opponent with a wider hit range. Their impressive size and power come at the expense of sometimes having trouble hitting smaller opponents, which may evade their assault more easily. So they really really are focused on diversifying the roster in every single way and coming up with counters so like if you are fighting somebody and they're i guess they're using too much of the strength character you can counter them with speed if they're using uh, a key blast character and they're taking too much damage off of you you can use a giant to uh, counter that and use more heavy key blast like it's just it's a wide range of competitiveness to get into like you can counter anything any character has a counter now let's get into the androids i rest in peace to the Android uh, 17 fan. I'm so sorry. Super 17 is, I don't know what, I don't, we don't know. We don't know what's going on. They got freaking Android 19 showcasing this, this uh, one. But Androids, Androids are artificial humans that do not necessarily possess key. So I, I can already tell a little bit about this. I played a lot of Androids. Android 17, uh, you know, the first form was my one of my favorites uh, in Budokai Tenkaichi. And 18, it was great as well. I also like using Dr. Zoro when he was available. Uh, in fact, they cannot charge their key bar unless their energy reaches the maximum level. So their key gauge will charge automatically over time or through melee attacks, and it will stop charging once it reaches maximum. So that's like the downside to androids. And I want to emphasize that they probably are going to say this, but there is a way to kind of uh, like sneak attack. Androids have this, uh, or the game in general has this thing where if you can't sense your opponent or if you lose sight of them, you, uh, you know, you, you know, you don't see them at all and it goes to this gray screen androids don't have energy it's gonna be very interesting to see how many how many people use that to their advantage especially given the fact you can go into buildings and just and, and be all over the map and hide and stuff androids are probably gonna be the sneakiest characters probably gonna be low-key crack we're gonna see how they do to incorporate this into your strategy you continuously strike with rush combos giving your opponent no chance to charge his key Androids even have the ability to absorb key blasts and certain blast attacks during super perception, which will charge their gauge much faster. The characters that automatically charge to maximum are Android 13, 16, 17, we want it to be super 17, 18. On the other hand, Android 19 and Dr. Jero can charge more key by landing melee attacks, and furthermore, they can absorb the opponent's key blast attacks and some some types of key wave blast that was a very in-depth breakdown of androids if you, if you are interested in androids after this i don't blame you they seem like very 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 thought well thought out characters they not they didn't just put them in there and just put machines in there and just gave them like a, a buff and a nerf like there is very tactical ways tactical ways you can play them especially what I, like what i said earlier you can kind of sneak your way around the maps now that was it for the fighter breakdown let me know what you guys think of all the different character types in the comments we're going to be breaking down some more uh later they have another section where they actually break down the accessory accessories and some items and things like that leave a like in the video subscribe if you're new if you are ready for some spark it zero let me get some spark it zero hype in the comments let me hear it let me hear it listen to the music let's get it baby peace